Hey guys, it's Coach Jason here. I'm gonna show you guys a couple different ways to wrap your hands to be safe whether you're in class or sparring or whatever you may be doing. First and foremost, make sure you have 180 inch wraps. Those are the long wraps. Those will be used for every video. Uh, find the thumb loop and then your wrap should say some version of this side up or this side down. Mine say this side down, so just make sure you follow directions on that. Whenever we put it around our thumb, for any of this, we don't wanna pull super tight like that. Everything wants to be taut, but we don't wanna cut off any circulation. The rule of three is what I like to call this. It's the easiest way to remember. I'm gonna start with three wraps around the wrist, just like that. And then we're gonna do three wraps around the knuckles. Now the big thing on the knuckles is your knuckles that are down at the base of your hand right here, these two big knuckles being what you wanna punch with are obviously what we wanna wrap. But in order to do that, we have to come up to our second knuckles, just like this. And we're gonna go three wraps around the knuckles. So there's one, making sure that it's almost up to my second knuckle group, two and three, just like that, bringing it back around the hand and towards the thumb. Our next group of three is gonna be the fingers. We're gonna go a loop around our hand and towards our, in between our pinky and ring finger. We're going to pinch and make a fist and secure. Again, I don't wanna pull anything crazy tight here. We're gonna do that two more times. We're gonna go up around it again to our ring finger and middle finger. Same thing as last time, I'm gonna pinch by making a fist and then I'm gonna secure. One more time, I'm going to pinch between my index and middle finger and secure that as well. Now from here, it's all about securing what we've already done. I'm gonna secure my knuckles by making one more wrap around. I'm gonna secure my thumb by making a loop around my thumb, just like that. And then I'm gonna finish this wrap by securing my wrist with whatever remains just like that. Whenever you're done with the wrap, the biggest detail is you wanna make sure that you have an open palm, just like this. That way, whenever you make a fist, you can make a good tight fist, you have a gripping position, and there's not a wad of hand wrap kind of stuck in the middle, which will create this weird fist, and that's how you'll probably end up getting hurt. So just making sure that you have an open wrap, just like this, where you can see your palm, so you can create a really good fist. That's the biggest thing, and I'm gonna show you another one here in a bit for all of you heavy hitters. Anyways, guys, I hope this helps. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you one more way to wrap your hands. This one's a little bit more complex, but it is useful for whenever you are gonna be hitting really hard and you need a thicker knuckle pad. It's called a Mexican style hand wrap. The same rule of three applies from the first video, but it gets a little bit complicated here at the beginning. So what I'm gonna do is wrap my thumb included entire hand and palm three times, just like this. I want a nice wide flat pad, as you can see, just like that, I rolled it around three times. And I'm gonna slide that off of my hand, trying to keep everything as even as possible. This is gonna be my knuckle pad, and I'm gonna place it on top of my knuckles, kind of like we did in the last video, where it's both on my punching knuckles and up to my second knuckles. I then secure it by two wraps around, and then I will pretty much do the same thing I did in the last video. I'm gonna wrap three times around my wrist. And since I've already created a really thick knuckle pad up here, I'm gonna start with that same pinch and secure in between the fingers that we did the first video. So you can see there, pinching one, pinching and securing two, and then pinching and securing three, just like the last video, guys. From there, I'm going to secure all of that by coming around and around like an X. From there, I do a hip thumb secure by wrapping once around the thumb, and then I finish the same way by securing my wrist. Now, it looks exactly the same as the last video. I still have that open palm we discussed. The only difference really in this one is I have a much thicker knuckle pad. I only use this wrap if I'm planning on hitting the bag really hard or if I'm getting really intense boxing sessions in. Uh, it's a little bit tougher than the first wrap, but hopefully this helps. Anyways, guys, take care.